Hello healers, thanks for clicking in this video. This is going to be a lovely tarot reading for uh, someone that you may be trying to communicate with and uh, you don't know exactly what do they mean or if they are not talking to you. This is about, could be love or family, anybody that you try to communicate. This is going to be what are they trying to tell you with their actions, with uh, whatever is happening at the moment. Just to clarify a little bit your path and help you out, I just wanted to concentrate on the person. What are they trying to tell you? And uh, concentrate on the person and look into one of the piles so you can choose from one of them. They're all tarot cards and uh, we will be reading from them. Like always, the details of the cards, the description it will be on the description below. My details as well if you want to contact me directly. And the timestamp as well for each of the piles. Like always, thanks for subscribing and liking. Please leave a comment. Let me know if it resonates with you. And, and I really appreciate that, all right? Oh, just to be clear, uh, this is pile number one, two, and three. All right? Thank you very much. If you chose pile number one, and this is your reading, what are they trying to tell you? I'm just going to shuffle a little bit more. I already did pray and shuffle on the cards. We also have this blue crystal here to help us with, you know, opening the throat chakra and communication. What are they trying to tell us? I'm going to take some of the cards. I'm going to take six cards. If I we need more information, we can take one more. So what do we have here? Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, try to put it very close to you, Nine of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. I hope you can see all of them. I'll try to make them very clear here for you. This is a beautiful tarot set. Right, okay. What are they trying to tell you? Well, this is a very strong energy, all right? This is someone who is trying to communicate with you and come towards you, but with because this is, this is the page of ones, they come with a little bit of um, a child energy in a way, even if they are an adult, it's really about not being, uh, ad, um, you know, very direct, not so much like an adult, the communication here, even if you're talking to an adult, it's, it's a bit of uh, childish behavior here, but they are coming offering you everything, they actually want everything, they, they may be a little bit... Um, like, like I say, childish and a little bit all over the place when they come to you, but the offer is, is really clear. They want something uh, with you. It's still a little bit early, but they, they, they want everything. They are offering you as everything that they can with this Ace of Cups as well. What I see here is that I see more of your energy here. Like you feel like you you have not been able to to think clearly and sleep sleepless nights and uh, worrying with this uh, this nine of swords here. You you worrying a lot at the moment, uh, trying to make a decision maybe, and uh, you have uh, some uh, bur burdens from the past, and you're trying to move forward. It's just uh, stopping a little bit. There's not time to. To give up, this card here is telling you, even though you feel like uh, you have been uh, stabbed in the past, this is, this is like a, a rebirth, it's a time to restart, so if you had the, 
being hurt in the past, you have reached the point that it cannot hurt more than this. You can only move forward now. You don't need to keep worrying about this. We could actually put like this because I'm re I'm reading the whole thing, not just like on order, in order. But um, this is a progress, right? So you feel like because you have been hurt so much, you you know worry about that all the time. That's why it came the other way. But um, this is it, this is also a progress, right? So there's no way of hurting more than it did at this point, it really is time to uh, rebuild yourself, pick yourself up and, and carry on. Because you have this beautiful energy here of the Queen of Cups, which is really getting into a point that your emotions are flowing and you will be able to communicate clearly and the be, you know, be able to have so much love in your life. And you have this beautiful, beautiful Ace of Cups here offering you making you a beautiful offer. Maybe it's early stages because it's, 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 the, it's the page of pentacles. Maybe maybe it's early stages. Or maybe it's just someone in your life already but with a bit of a childish behavior. It's Don't worry about that. It's really a progress going on here and they are going to offer you what you want. This is really a um, wish coming true for you. But it's time for you to to move away from this energy of worrying and thinking of what, how much you have suffered in the past with this situation or, or with other people in relation to love. It's really time to learn with everything that has happened to you and uh, recharge, relax a little bit, but carry on. Don't give up because you have this beautiful, beautiful uh, queen of, of cups here showing you that there's so much love and beautiful uh, energy uh, and, be and these two here together there's a beautiful love connection and uh, healing in this situation waiting for you so it's really time to um, leave this this behavior behind and um, move forward because what they are trying to tell you here is that they want they want something with you they're offering you but then your energy is blocking as well so it's time to like recharge a little bit and move forward if you want is there for you you can be this queen of cups here and this love can grow and the offer is there is early stages i say it could be early stages of communication but um the offer is there they're trying to um to communicate with you what they're really trying to tell you is that they want something uh, with you but you are blocking in a in a way, you know. So you're blocking this um, from happening. This this healing, this moving forward, um, whether it's with new love or someone already in your life for a while. Um, they are trying to communicate, like I said, maybe in a childish way, and they, there's a need of a grow, but they really want everything with you. They want all the best. They, it, it's a positive energy. It just needs to grow a little bit. You need to recharge a little bit and move away from this energy and you will be able to to be this queen of um, of cups. Doesn't matter if, men, if you are a man or woman. This is just an energy of love and being uh, so emotional and being able to um, you know, communicate and and be so happy and full of love right so if you want to heal from this situation or allow this person into your life if it's new the the doors are here for you you just need to move forward like i said from here there's no hurting more than it did so it's really about picking yourself up and you can accept this cup and you can become this you can move to this beautiful energy of the queen of cups all right, so group number one, this is my message for you. It's I hope it resonates with you. If it does, do let me know in the comments or send me a private message if you prefer. And I hope this, this helps you out in your path. All right, thanks very much. Group number two, if you chose this beautiful card here, what are they trying to tell you? We actually have the the throat chakra the blue crystal here to, trying to help us i already prayed and shuffled but i'm shuffling a little bit more 
on these cards just asking for the higher powers to guide us what are they trying to tell you and I'm just going to choose some cards here for us what other cards are trying to come out here for us these ones are trying to come out there's another one here trying to come out all right so the first card is the seven of cups hope you can see them and you have the hanged man you also have the shadow side or the devil if you if you because this is the which is a deck, so they change some of the names. You have the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Wands. And we have the Three of Pentacles. All right, what are they trying to tell you? Okay, if this is a love relationship, or like I said, it could be a family or someone already in your life, what I can tell you is that there's a lot, loads of um, illusions and uh, too many choices at the moment and uh, in this person's life. And there's too many things going on at the same time. It doesn't mean many people. It means really so many things going on here for them to choose between work or, or relationships and uh, who knows, travel and... and Maybe things going on in the family. There's so many things going on at the same time that they don't. They are not choosing. They are not making a choice. They are not really. They are a bit stuck there uh, in in this um, illusion, this this indecisive time, and so they do need some time here to uh, for themselves. And uh, it's it's with this hanged man here. It's like they need this time. And uh, to, to, to get some uh, clear, um, you know, directions of what they really want to do. And uh, there's some, um, some things that they needed to get rid of. Some, this is really about uh, some, uh, like, like the, the shadow side is really like um, being on your head and going to the wrong directions and not really... Um, realizing that you can get out of that situation yourself you maybe you have created that or maybe they have created that for themselves and then um, they are confused and but what I see here you see here as well with uh, there's, there's some confusion with the five of wands but there is some hard work going on and some payback here and recognition of the hard work that they're trying to do trying to communicate and this is a beautiful card here with the four of wands. This is really a wish coming true. This is this is also representing um eleven eleven here with the wand, if you know tarot cards. And uh, but they they need some time to to grow here to to move away. There's a lot of um like I say, the confusion at the moment and there's some work being done and uh, some payback. But there still is a lot of confusion. So the mo at the moment, they are not communicating. They are not um, really being direct to you because they need some time. They need time here to reflect and get rid of some uh, maybe bad behaviors and things that have been going on in their lives that it's time for them to move on. And that they want to move on. That's a lot of um, people maybe getting involved in this situation as well and they... They they don't want all of that. They need this time here uh, to become to get to this point here, which is a lovely card. But it's really about uh, being able to to move on and celebrate and having a wish come true. They really want to to communicate with you. They want something with you, but they are in a very hard state at the moment of confusion, of time to decide and and things to clear from their from their life at the moment i believe they will come to you because of this card here and be more clear and offering you something that you may be happy with but it's going to take some time because they they need this time here to be alone at the moment so that's why they're not really 
what are they trying to tell you is that they, you know, they, they do want something with you or resolve the situation here to celebrate and be happy, but there's too much confusion at the moment and they need this time. This, this is really a necessary time out really in their life so they can be clear, they can be enlightened and uh, there'll be some work to do, So, but there'll be a pay, a, it, it will be paid off, right? So there will be a, it will be uh, worth the wait, I'd say, because of the celebration card here. This this four of ones is beautiful celebration time, a wish come true. So it will get your wish of them being very clear with you and coming directly to you. But there will be some kind of, like I say, clearing the confusion and time out first of all. So it will come to you, but not very fast. They are just trying to tell you now that they have too much going on and so much confusion they need time out that's what I see, I, I see here they will come to you your wish will come true and there will be some payback but then it, it's up to you what you're going to do with that after of course but they do need this time first so that's what I see here I, I you let me know if it resonates with you but um, that's what I see at the moment there will be some time out and then you will see them coming to you a bit more clear but they need time that's what i see i see at the moment okay group number two i hope it resonates with you let me know let me know in a comment or send me a private message if you prefer but it's what i see at the moment but there will be some rewards all right there will be they will come to you more clear soon enough just give them some time and they will see that all right so let me know if it resonates with you and I will be happy to hear from you. All right. Thanks very much. Group number two. This is your reading for today. Thank you. Oh, group number three. If you have chosen the, the third uh, pile of cards, this is your reading. What are they trying to tell you? Whether it's romantic or not, we will see. It's, you know what you need. And I have already shuffled and prayed on the cards. But just shuffling a bit more, we do have this beautiful blue crystal here helping us with the communication uh, chakra and we we'll just see which cards wants to come to us. Just shuffling a bit more if any card wants to come out. Okay, we have five I'll pick one more okay your first card here is the queen of wands the second card is the queen of cups all the queens come in here we have the page of swords we have the word we have the two of wands and we have the six of pentacles beautiful energy here Bora. what are they trying to tell you if it's your family or loved ones you will know so with the queen of wands and the queen of cups it's really about this mother uh, figure the queen of wands here uh, you know very passionate about and protective and the queen of cups really emotional and and you know being able to really flow the flow of emotions and being being able to communicate actually so the page of swords here as well bringing communication and, and fast change so I feel that uh, this person is really um, passionate about the situation and is trying to communicate with you maybe maybe too fast in a way that uh, too much emotions involved here it's not uh, being very uh, uh, rational about it it's all emotion and passion and fire and fast and a bit uh, in um, you know in an immature way here with this page of ones and just cutting all the words out there but they're trying to really give you the word and 
and, and show you everything at once. What are they trying to do? It's really uh, fast and, uh, and and it's maybe throwing too much too much at you at once, and uh, you know it's making you uh, maybe think about it. Is that what you really want? Because it's really an emotional state here, being really fast this communication. But the word here re also represents. Um, you know, an ending, like um, like c completion of a cycle, boundaries, and uh, this could be that all this emotional state and all this fast, all this information throw, thrown at you at the moment, it's really because they are trying to have something resolved, I feel like, because there are other chances of decision to be made. And they want this to come down and be more into a balanced state here with the, the Six of Pentacles, the back and forward here. What I feel like is that they are not being able to communicate properly, right? They are throwing everything at you, like I said, with passion, with emotion, and, and maybe with this um, Page of Wands as well, with a bit of you know uh, a childish behavior, you know, it's being it's being too much at once, and then they're speaking too much, and they are not you're not listening because it's just too much information thrown at you. So, but they actually trying to tell you here, when in in a quite a passionate, emotional way, and um, that you're not understanding really, is that they they wanted this this time to to be a fulfillment to be a completion time for for you in this uh, relationship whether it's new or not they wanted they want this to move forward they are to like let's let's complete this just this, this move from the state that we are at the moment with all this passion and back and forward to a more stable um times that uh, you it's more of a give and take more uh, balance uh, relationship here there is a choice to be made if it's really what you want if you if you want to keep going and uh, wait for this balance to come or if you just wanted to create some boundaries and cut cut it all together and don't deal with this anymore you can move uh, forward if you want there are some choices to made if you wanted to continue or not with this relationship or even give a chance to, if it's a new relationship like because it's being thrown at you in mean, this there's so much emotion state here but if you don't want okay I'd say create some boundaries and make your choice because you can get some balance in your life with or without someone if you wanted to keep this person in your life there will need to be boundaries anyway. There will need to be choices to be made on how this can move forward with more balance, with more give and take. It's, bit, it's a bit one-sided. It's a bit like throwing all the emotion, all the fights. If you are ready with someone, there's loads of fights here with these with this strong uh, energies here of the two queens. So if you wanted to keep this relationship, there will need to be loads of balance and talk and more of a give and take and a more stable state right at the moment is a bit uh, cra a bit uh, crazy here with all the emotions being being thrown left and right but it, it's it can you can work out this you can complete and stop and end this cycle of all these emotions make the choice and then you'll be able to move forward here with the six of pentacles it's like it's, it's beautiful uh, time here with more balance uh more uh, calm and give and take like i said from both sides is not one-sided so much and uh, it, it's so much that uh more progress here that it can be going on for for the two of you in case you wanted to keep this relationship going there need to be an ending for this period of emotional state and fight I am guessing as well uh, but they will really need to 
to complete this time but what they really trying to tell you is that they they are passionate about you and they have really strong emotion connection with you they just don't know how to express themselves properly at the moment but they really really want to be with you they want you know the word with you but it's really a matter of creating some boundaries as well and making the choice to move to a more balanced uh, time like i say really the path here was a bit uh, chaotic in a way but you can move forward whether you wanted this person or not in your life you will have more balance here okay there's some work to do and decisions to make but there's a there's a balance coming and more of a peaceful time all right so i hope it resonates with you if it does please let me know leave a comment or send me a private message if you prefer and i'll be happy to hear from you so group number three this is your reading today and i hope you have a lovely and healing day thank you for watching bye bye